Dear students Today I have come with an explanation of the temporal dimension of film Film can employ the dimension of time in a variety of ways We are going to see the different varieties of employing time in film The temporal dimension of film can be seen in relation with the narrative techniques in fiction Here we will discuss different levels of techniques employed in the temporal dimension. The first level, aspects of plot and action can be effectively exhibited through the temporal dimension. For example, foreshadowing and flashback allows interwoven levels of action and time. The second level, techniques like fast motion and slow motion defamiliarize the action an example is the film koyan is quite see by godfrey reggio he uses fast motion and slow motion to draw attention to everyday situations such as city traffic or the changing of season stressing the importance of an ecological awareness on an endangered planet the third level the cinema makes use of other ways to create a discrepancy between the plot time and the running time of a film running time means the actual length of a film example for creating discrepancy can be experienced in stanley kubrick's film 2001 a space odyssey the film covers several million years of human evolution by cutting from a bone tool thrown into the air by a cave man to a futuristic spaceship the fourth level contrary to creating discrepancy there are some temporal techniques to equate real time and plot time for example fred zinnemann's film high noon this film makes the actual length of the film that is its running time more or less correspond to the 90 minute time span of the action by equating real time and plot time zinnemann's is able to emphasize the major feature of the film's content on a formal level thus creating a powerful impression on the viewers some other devices that can indicate the passage of time in film are clocks calendars newspapers signs of aging or changing fashion styles i will show you an interesting example from literature to explain the connection between the narratological techniques in fiction and the employment of temporal dimension in film you might have heard of virginia woolf's novel mrs dalloway published in 1925 The novel consists of a number of simultaneously occurring episodes. The director Jim Jarmusch uses a similar narrative technique in his film Mystery Train, published in 1989. This film represents events in the lives of three groups of people in Memphis, Tennessee. The film consists of three independent episodes. all of which connected through a number of time indicators revolver shot radio announcement and a passing train are recurring features in all three episodes making it clear for the viewer that the episodes are taking place simultaneously like virginia wolf jamish tries to present a picture from diverse fragmented perspectives which are nevertheless held together by a number of unifying elements while mrs dalloway places the character of clarissa at its center mystery train revolves around the mystic figure of elvis presley who is viewed from three different perspectives in three different episodes as in wool's novel Multi-layered modes of character presentation correlate with complex narrative and temporal structures. Another scope of temporal dimension is to create the discontinuous narrative. 
What is a discontinuous narrative? It refers to narratives in literature and film that do not follow a linear plot line. Recent films increasingly work with discontinuous narrative structures that hold the viewers to reconstruct the plot line out of temporarily fragmented scenes. Examples for films using the discontinuous narrative style are Pulp Fiction by Quentin Tarantino, Traffic by Steven Soderbergh, Memento by Christopher Nolan, and I Am Not There by Todd Haynes. I would like to conclude this topic by stating that the narratological approaches created for the analysis of novels are now increasingly being applied to film studies and the various techniques under temporal dimension are used to fulfill this effect. Thank you.